Oh, we feel real good about things. People are starting starting to notice there's an election coming up, and uh, people are starting to get it. I mean, I'm I'm a job creator. I'm not a career politician, and our message is resonating. We need to open up our economy, diversify it, keep our kids here, and it's pretty simple stuff. Just get government out of the way, clean up our courts, fix our regressive tax code, and amongst a lot of other things we need to work on. But we'll start there. All right, and uh, how exciting is it for you to see all these people coming out? Oh, it's energizing. We've got a lot of great volunteers here in the in the valley and everywhere in the state. And uh, it's going to take a lot of work to win this thing. And uh, we saw in the primary what you can do when you set your mind to it and you have a great team behind you. It's a lot like being in business, a lot like being in Chile. I mean, a great team gets things done. And we made over 25,000 calls during the primary and it really made a difference. And we're going to make, I don't know how many times that here. We've got a modern phone system. we got one in Morgantown similar. And uh, this is what it takes to win. But it's great to see all these people helping us. Here in the oh yeah. The yes, there will be. Hope we have enough parking out here. <laughs> now, what's your campaign strategy for this part of the state? I know you've been campaigning up in the Morgantown area, but no, we've been all over the place. Uh, cool. We've been in the valley quite a bit. Uh -huh. It's my home away from home. Oh, okay. But uh, we've been all all over the state. If I had a map showing where I've been, it's it's scary. My truck uh, has put on almost forty thousand miles since we started this race. All over the place. Yeah, One hundred forty-seven thousand on it now. So. so, what's your plan to win Kanawha County? Well, our message is clear. I mean, we need to get government out of the way, uh, make it easier for people to be in business. You look at this valley, it used to have chemical industry, and uh, it's gone. It's dwindling, and we got to fix our courts, fix our tax code, and get rid of bureaucracies, and make it easier for people to be in business. And above all, we got to fight back Washington. I'll tell you what, uh, we were with Governor Perry here last week in Texas, and uh, he's got it right. You fight back Washington, you can win, and you can move your state forward, and we need to start doing that here. We're not fighting back the way we should. I'll tell you one thing, I will actively campaign against Barack Obama, and I dare Earl Ray to do the same. Um, it just got announced today that the unemployment rate dropped 7.24%. Um, what do we need to do to continue to improve on the unemployment state? Well, a lot of that is fuzzy math, as I call it. We're, you know, we have so many people leaving. I mean, that rate to me is not real. I look at some things that have come out. There was just an article yesterday about our poverty rate for kids. I mean, one out of four kids is in poverty. That's awful. I mean, and there was a comment in the Gazette yesterday about the, we're recession proof because we've already hit bottom. I mean, we've, it's that way with a lot of things. And we've got to just take the bull by the horns and lead our state to what it should be. We've got huge potentials with Marcellus Shale and other things going on. We've got to take advantage of those, do things right. And we can start paying down things like our OPEB liability and quit kicking the can down the road. Everybody talks about how great things are. I don't see it being that great. We're number 46 in the latest rankings CNBC had, number 49 in other rankings, 50th in judicial climate. It's got to stop. We've got to keep our kids here and grow our economy.